Well, welcome back to Steve Rob Reviews. Today, we're going to talk about a subject right here. Oil filters. Guys, I went and ordered four of these oil filters and a couple other items in there, but uh, I have seen so many videos on YouTube talking about Fram oil filters or any other brand of oil filter, and you got more opinions than you can shake a stick at. And for me, like most things in life, everything is sold by advertising, sold by claims that sometimes just don't jive too well. And uh, well, we're gonna take a look at these oil filters. And uh, these are, I guess they would be considered like a, a lower cost oil filter. I always use AC Delco on my Silverado because I believe myself that the factory oil filter, no matter which brand of vehicle you're, uh, you have, is probably the best choice. It might not be the best filter, but it was designed for the vehicle, and I think it's the best choice. I am far from an expert on oil filters. What I think I do have a lot of knowledge on is advertising. And advertising can make the difference between uh, make or breaking a uh, product and actually make or breaking um, a company. So I have seen a lot of these uh, videos trashing Fram oil filters and I just really don't know what to make of them because some of them to me look, I don't know, like uh, the people who are presenting these uh, so-called uh, you know, they line up a whole bunch of filters, they take them all apart, they look inside and everything else. Well, they haven't got a clue what they're talking about most of the time, just like uh, a lot of other people on YouTube. They're making a video, they're putting on a great presentation, but they have no credentials. And I have no credentials either. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up these oil filters, and we're just going to take a look at them. I'm not going to cut them open, though. We're going to take a look at them a different way. Let's get on to it. Okay, so here's the oil filters like I got them. We'll just take them out like this. And when you're looking at a lot of these videos when they've been trashing Fram oil filters, yeah, they cut them apart, they do all kinds of stuff to them, and to tell you the truth, I don't really think that's fair. Most people have no idea, you know, the construction of an oil filter, and neither do I. The most we really know is by looking at the outside here, some people cut them apart, they look at the cartridge, and they count the pleats, and all kinds of stuff like that. Well, do you as a consumer actually know how many pleats are good, how many pleats are bad, whether it's got a, a silicone anti-drain back valve or not, and whether it's got cardboard in there or not, whether it's good or bad. These are the things that most consumers really have no knowledge on. So let's just take a look at this filter here. And you can see it there. I mean, it just looks like a regular filter. And to me, like, how can you tell by looking at this whether this is good or bad? Can you guys see anything that's good or bad there? Uh, one thing I do like about Fram is they have this uh, really nice textured surface on the bottom where you can uh, get a good grip to just, you know, hand tighten it or hand untighten it. Well, I think is a great design. I mean, to me, that filter looks okay. Let's look at number two. Well, it looks all the same on the outside to me. And, uh, well, this one is a little bit different here. I don't know if you can, let me just get a little bit of a, yeah, I get a pick here or something. What is, I don't think that's really any, it looks like, it's, it's not gooey or anything, guys. It's like some kind of a, I don't know if you can see that. It's like some kind of a, an epoxy or something. But to tell you the truth, I really can't see that makes anything. Maybe that is the epoxy that holds down this uh, this seal, maybe. I'm not too sure. I am not an expert in oil filters. But to me, that looks fine to me. I really can't see anything wrong. Let's look at the third one here. And it looks the same as all the rest, right? And, uh, The only thing I notice on this is it's got this 
I don't know if you guys are going to pick this up or not, but it's got that epoxy here again. And guys, I really don't care for that too much. Uh, that's a little, uh, I hope you can see that in the shot. But uh, I don't think that's the greatest either. I don't know what that epoxy is for. It'd be nice if I could, uh, you know, actually ask the company what that thing is. But as, uh, as far as I understand, the oil goes in the outside and then comes up through the center. And to me, guys, I don't know what that epoxy thing is, but I believe, I don't know, I don't know what it is. So let's move on to the last one. So far, I can't tell any difference, guys. And here's the last one. Looks the same as the rest. And uh, I'm just looking it over here myself first. And guys, the more I'm looking at this, the more it looks to me like that epoxy is in here somewhere. And that looks like a little bit of a fluff from the cardboard box. That's about it, really. Guys, I don't know. Do you guys know the difference between a good filter and a bad? Okay, so I show you the filters, and uh, to me, I really don't know. Do any of you know? I mean, no for sure. I mean, it's in a nice looking box, it's a filter, and as far as I could see that I've looked at the specs on this, it passes all the tests that you're supposed to have when you produce uh, an oil filter in North America. Now, I wonder how many of you use a Fram oil filter? And do you believe everything you see on YouTube when you see somebody cutting apart an oil filter and you see, uh, take for instance, I've seen one there where there's a great big hole in the pleat and everything else. Well, how many other oil filters could you find where you would find a defect? Nobody builds a perfect uh, oil filter. Um, I realize that these are a value oil filter and do they have their purpose? I believe they do. Um, I will maintain that I believe the best oil filter is the one that the manufacturer puts on the vehicle when it's built. And there are a ton of other oil filters that are a lot better. But how do we know? The only way we know is through advertisement, word of mouth, and somebody making a YouTube video on TV, or not on TV, well this is close to TV, um, either bashing the product or saying that it's great. And I'm saying, I haven't got a clue. Do you? So leave a comment down below and let me know, would you put these on your truck? And uh, do you think you have a good grasp on what is a good oil filter and what is a bad oil filter? Because I surely don't. So thanks for joining me here today and uh, come back again. If you ever seen this channel before, you're welcome to subscribe. You guys take care. Cheers.